going to be going to the Spurs. Arena in San I believe Antonio, that, Texas. which I, I think is a good move for him. We've got the he Los Angeles agent. Lakers and he can take taking on five, the yeah. San Antonio Spurs. Thanks for joining us, everyone. It's the NBA on 2K Sports. I'm Kevin Harlan. Here with me today, Clark Kellogg and Steve Kerr. Here are the starters for Los Angeles. Well, no, I think they're done Davis with this. They're done with this. They're done with this. That's Johnson. Yeah, fire and that's Bryant. Done, and it's Clarkson in the one. Well, Kobe Bryant last season for the first time introducing high tops as his custom basketball shoes, looking to provide a little more support for that injured well, Achilles. What it is, 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 is there's some time with uh, Nick is, uh, I'd say that fast break went according to plan. Yeah, it sure did. A good job getting it started. I'm, 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 and a better I'm, 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 I'm job finishing it off. Parker kicks to Leonard. Take it serious enough, man. Off target from outside. Oh, and there's the alley oop. And Wesley Johnson with the slam. And the lead just grows on that ridiculous you know, offensive you know, sequence. You know, that dunk alone like would have been spectacular. Really Never mind it coming at the end is, of an alley. You just yeah, get real life more to it. You can yeah, make what a beautiful connection on that play. One night he's aggressive, one night he's not. You know what I mean? Such an not aggressive like attitude. He has no invitation needed for him to take it strong to the basket. Rebound, Kawhi Leonard. I can't say I'm surprised that one didn't fall. He can barely dunk it in the pregame layup line. Got a piece of it. Now the Lakers on the break. Come on, man. Let's Johnson come on, can't come get on, it to go. Man. For San Antonio, they've gone just one of four to get this game started. And the defense fouling there yeah, to I'm prevent a, that a, layup, uh, forcing two yeah, free throws here. I mean, by nice line, job that time of attacking the paint and, and drawing the contact. No shot They'll nothing. take that. The Spurs getting their first but, uh, shots from the stripe get, in this can't game. Can't get a big from the draft. They were very like, pleased with their free throw numbers like, a year okay. ago. They knocked down about 79% from, uh, from, from the stripe as a team. Like you know, success at the line just became soon. contagious for them. A few guys got on a roll, no and it carried over to the rest of the team. Clarkson kicks to Bryant. Here's Hill. And he makes no mistake on the slam dunk. Well, Clark, a clear lane to the basket and the emphatic jam. And that is outstanding attacking basketball. Well, he had no choice but to take that one to the bucket. It's stolen by Davis. And well, that'll be the Lakers as it goes out of bounds. Lakers retain possession. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I didn't see his name. Ryan in the post. He's against Green. The shot by Clarkson, no good. San Antonio's gone 0 of 2 from deep here. Okay, let's go, guys. Let's go. Well, head coach Greg Popovich, a big believer in what he calls corporate knowledge, the idea that continuity breeds success through players truly understanding the system at a deep level. And the shot is good. How about the first quarter for him at the offensive end? He's really had the touch going. Duncan with the screen for Parker. And he uses the glass on the layup. I know he can Parker's finish. Parker's got six. On, like he, like you know. And as much as Popovich Clark values that continuity, team's principles really never stand still. He adapts to his personnel and adjusts his strategies. And that's a credit to any really good leader. And I've heard it said that leadership is everything. When you're talking organizations, team sports. And that's a great point. I mean, the Spurs have won going big. They've won going small. They've won as a defensive-focused team. They've won as an offensive-focused team. I mean, they haven't changed their core principles. But to Popovich's credit, he has adjusted um, styles based on his personnel and where they are in their time. career cycle. Lax checked in for the Lakers. They get the rebound. San Antonio trailing here. Leonard attacking. That drops, and it comes off an assist from Parker. Leonard's got five. Here's Bryant. 
Sinks the 15 footer. Give me a stop saying it's like a mid range. And great ball movement. They're just picking this defense apart with their passing. Well, how about the three P's, Steve? Purposeful, precise, passing. We love it. And so does this team because they're taking advantage of it. They found the open man on the perimeter and got the ball to him. Clarkson passes to Bryant. Off the mark there with the three point shot. For San Antonio, they've gone 5 of 8 from the field, shooting over 62%. Parker kicks to Green. Offensive rebound. Here's Parker. And a big bounce off the rim, but it sinks right in. Parker's got 8 points. It wasn't really hard to see why the Lakers struggled so much last year. The talent was down and also the defensive effort and focus was borderline embarrassing at times. Here's Duncan. A second chance effort. Parker drives in. They shoot again. Foul call that time on the way up. That'll give him two chances at the free throw line here. Tony could well be the best point guard penetrator in the game. I mean, he's great at finding the seam and getting the ball up and off glass before the shot blocker can recover. And once the ball hits the glass and comes off, it's a no-touch zone for the defender. Looking at his out now for the Spurs. Baines is checked in. Dial comes in for Tim Duncan. Bellinelli, he's checked in for Kawhi Leonard. And it's Ginobili in for Daniel Green. Mills, he's checked in for San Antonio. And Parker with the quickness to win that race to the rim, and then his great touch, able to use English or, uh, you know, just the, the spin on the ball to drop it in. Even when the defense gets there early, it seems like Parker's able to use that teardrop. Boy, for my taste, he's far too inconsistent with that shot. He's got to make those if he's going to take his game to the next level. He the always knows awesome where his teammate's going to be, and Kevin, that will let him put the ball where he wants it, right waiting for him. Young with no one around. Los Angeles with another miss. And for Parker now coming into his 30s, the question, how will his game, so based on speed, Clark, and elusiveness, how will it age? Well, you know, I think that's a fair question. His game is not as much athleticism as it is those attributes of speed and quickness and elusiveness. I think the elusiveness can hang around for a while. I've been stuck on this 12 forever. But the fact he's improved as a jump shooter, I think it will continue to allow him to be um, pretty good at getting to the rim. And here's Young from the arc. The basket good off the assist from Lynn. Young's got himself on the board with three there. And Ginobili, here we go. Bellinelli for three. Good defensive work there by Young. You know, a team's rebounding is one of the great measures of its energy, and theirs has been terrific in the first quarter. Yep, they were ready to go right from the opening tip. With four seconds on the clock, and it's wide right. Hits off the rim. I think I made a few adjustments on the defense. Something made right up in this piece. No shortage of scoring here at the end of the first quarter. Spurs lead by six. And we'll be back with you for the start of the second quarter when we return. Now the second quarter getting ready to start up. And before we move on, what do you guys think about what we've seen so far from the Spurs? And this team has done a nice job on the glass. I think that's how they've built this lead. They've been very physical, really established a presence in the paint. Well, they've chased down those balls. As soon as they've hit the iron, they've been chasing them down. That's been a solid effort by them. In a moment now to reset the lineups, courtesy of Gatorade, all fueled up for the second quarter of basketball. On the court right now for the Spurs. Hills at point with Bellinelli. They're the back court. Ginobili out there with Boris Diaw. And it's Baines in at the five down low. 
Let's go to our sideline reporter, Doris Burke. Doris, what do you have? Gentlemen, the great Kobe Bryant, now in his 19th year in the league, he said, this is the last chapter. The book is going to close. I just haven't determined how many pages are left. But my passion only increases. You realize you only have so many years left. It re-energizes you to fine-tune your preparation and make sure you leave no stone unturned. Kevin sounds familiar. That sounds like him. Never one to shy from a challenge. Thanks, Doris. Ellington can't connect from short range. Just an enormous advantage for them on the boards. Guys, the key to the lead to me has been they've dominated the glass. It's that simple. And the call will be against Julius Randle. That's his first foul. The Spurs making a switch here. Parker drives in. Another one falls for San Antonio. Well, Tony Parker, an excellent score. For eight, a finisher certainly inside with a smooth pull-up jump shot from mid-range. Steve, when he gets in the lane, he is dynamite. And he draws fouls at a very high rate for a point you know, guard. You know they didn't have, so good uh, at Andrew initiating Arm, contact uh, and then forcing the officials you know that, to make right? a call. And what that does, it gets you free points. It also allows you to set up your defense at the other end. That one is off. And Parker really is great from mid-range and in. His three-point shooting, a little bit more inconsistent. Some seasons, he's shot in the high 30s from out there. Others, it's only been in the 20s. But it may be a shot he turns to as he loses some of that elite, elusive quickness. Daniel Green, he's checked in for Bellinelli. He shot the ball exceptionally well as they've built this lead for themselves here. So timeout called here, the first for Los Angeles. And as much as we talk about Parker offensively, he's also a solid defender. Never one to gamble for steals, but considering his offensive load, he remains steady at the other end of the floor. Ed Davis has checked in for the Lakers. Boozer comes in for Randall. And we're now about a minute and a half into the second quarter. Outside, Lynn, he kicks it to Boozer. Wants to get it to Ellington and does. Nick Young on the wing. Outside, Lynn, lock at six. Los Angeles needs to get off a shot here. That is good, and the Spurs lead is cut down to just eight points with the bucket from Young. And that's another assist for a team that is putting on a clinic on how to share the ball. I just love the mentality they've had. If a shot isn't there, they're not forcing anything. They're moving it side to side and working to get a good shot. Parker outside. The offensive rebound. They kick it out to Green. Nice ball movement by San Antonio. Diaw can't hit. Ill-advised shot selection right there, Clark. It really was. I mean, very low percentage shot there. Well, what can you say about the Spurs at home? I mean, they've been dominant here for so long. It's a shot whenever they lose at home. Good. And San Antonio calls the first timeout of the game. What, baby? What? Oh. And the Spurs making a change here. Splitters checked in. San Antonio leading by five. And Parker, here we go. Green dishes to Duncan. Leonard kicks to Duncan. A jump hook. That's good. And there it is again. That's where their points have been coming today from the low post. And even under pressure in tight, they've maintained their concentration and converted their opportunities. Now here's Lynn. He hasn't yet put up any points in this one. Oh, and man. Nick Young with post the slam. 
I like that they're taking it inside and taking advantage of each opportunity, Clark, to chip away at the deficit. Yeah, and doing it with the dunk is a major energizer, too. Gets the momentum going. Yeah, and I think the interior defense, as good a job offensively as, as we saw, the defensive presence was almost non-existent. And they may see this lead disappear if they continue to give up those easy points. Los Angeles making a switch here. Hill, he's checked in for Boozer. Johnson comes in for Nick Young. Kobe's checked in for Wayne Ellington. And it's Clarkson in for Jeremy Lin. Parker drives in, kicks it out to Leonard. There's the three. And he lobs it up toward the rim. You can see the eye contact there. Gave a little nod and then burst to the rim for the alley-oop slam. No doubt, Clark. A pair of teammates with a terrific feel for each other out on the floor. Mm -hmm. And what a play to make in a close game. A, a potential momentum builder. Well, going into last season, Tiago Splitter accepting a four-year, $36 million extension, Steve, from the Spurs. A lot of people questioned the value of that contract, but uh, Splitter more than earned it with his play throughout the regular season and in the playoffs. He's oh, come versatile. On, man. He can pass. He can defend. Uh, and even though his numbers were down a little bit last year, he made impact just in terms of their interior play. And Splitter clearly when you look at him offensively, is not a floor spacer. He's a guy who's going to finish inside. He's going to set solid screens. Even though he plays close to the basket, his field goal percentage dropped by almost 10% over the last couple of seasons. He was once superb in that area. Now he's just rock solid. But with the Spurs in his role, rock solid is good enough. Splitter still shooting over 90% of his shots in the paint. But Less effective down low. Injuries, perhaps a factor. We'll see if he can bounce back. Once again off the mark by San Antonio. How about that fantastic finish and the aggressive move too, Kevin? Trying to send a message, Clark, with that slam, I think. Well, that's how you send it. Two hands and hammer it down. Duncan with it. Picked up by Davis. No good from Duncan. And here's the Lakers. They're on a 17 to 5 run here. Wes Johnson, the former number four pick back in 2010. He was a bust in Minnesota, but he shot better in his fourth season. And once he was moved to kind of a, a small four, like the shooting power forward oh. spot, uh, he really found a niche for himself. And Wesley Johnson has always been impressive physically. Great size, terrific length for a wing, quick off the floor. Yeah, he's got all of those ingredients, but his ball handling has been a bit mediocre, rather pedestrian, and I think that's held him back offensively. Here's what San Antonio is going with right now. Baines is checked in, and it's Ginobili in for Green. You know, they've changed their game here in the second. Getting a little bit more physical, playing with some toughness now. And you know, this lead is going to grow if they can continue to get to the free throw line. The Lakers on offense. They're on an 18 to 5 run. Kobe gets the bucket. It just seems like they're finding an open lane to the hoop every time down. That's five buckets in a row for them in the paint. Yeah, on the flip side, Steve, the defenders have to show more fight on the interior. What a pass by the fearless Manu Ginobili. Great teamwork. San Antonio's gone one of six from three-point land in the second quarter. Less than 20%, but they've continued to let him fly. Come on, come on. That's your guy. That's your guy. That's good. That's your guy. Mills has got it all tied up now for the Spurs. And let's catch up with our sideline reporter, Doris Burke. Doris, over to you. Well, Kevin, the Spurs, not necessarily a glamour franchise, but maybe the NBA's motto franchise. The longest streak of 50 win seasons in league history, five championships, and a litany of former Spurs working as head coaches and GMs around the league. Tim Duncan said people aren't envious of their image, but they're envious of how they run things. They get it done, Kevin. They sure do. An incredible run. Thanks, Doris. Randall passes to Clarkson. 
The tray. And another three for the Lakers. Well, it looks like he's finally found his footing in this game. His first quarter was a real struggle, but he's got it going now. Here's Mills. He's got nine. You know, they did a good job in the first quarter getting themselves to the line, but here in the second, they've gone away from it. Well, everything's become perimeter-oriented, Clark, and you really have to be penetrating and looking inside, keeping that defense honest. And yes, sir, that one drops. Out of bounds, the Lakers will take possession. Boy, did they ever make a mess out of that one. A terrible turnover. Here's Randall. Oh. And we've reached halftime in this one. Lakers ahead, up by seven. And we'll be back right after halftime to get the third quarter underway. And we welcome you back to start the quarter. Players had a chance to get hydrated with Gatorade. And there's certain to be some great basketball ahead for us. It's been a clinic from Tony Parker. Yeah, he played a very mature first half offensively, just finding gaps and making good decisions, getting into the defense and knocking down shots. Well, the way he played that first half, that's exactly what we're talking about when we say offensive efficiency. And on the floor for Byron Scott as we get into the second half. They've got Davis. Clarkson is out there with Kobe. Then it's Johnson, and it's Hill in a, the pivot spot, manning the middle. Phenomenal alley-oop slam right there, guys. They're taking advantage, Clark, of a team that looks lost out there. Mm, yeah, this is threatening to get kind of ugly out here. Here's Clarkson. Nine points in the game so far. Well, the Lakers were coming into the season with only about $11 million in salary committed, a chance to attract two max free agents, but they gave Kobe Bryant that two-year $50 million extension. So that seems to possibly day, postpone day, the rebuild uh, that the Lakers have by maybe two more years. They get it back. They kick it out to Green. It's Parker with the drive. The shot misses. And it's the Lakers the other way. Duncan with a screen on Kobe. Parker dishes to Duncan. Parker kicks to Duncan. Back to Parker. Over Bryant. And Davis sends it back. It has not been an easy quarter for him, at least offensively speaking. And Kobe, here we go. Yeah. That was nice. Goes straight through the defender for the dunk. That Draws nice. the foul. <laughs> He'll go to the line. Tim Duncan picks one up. Well, he wasn't phased at all by the bigger man on him. And on the low block, I thought he might be. You know, Steve, I thought maybe he'd prefer to bring him out to the perimeter. But whatever works, go to it. The Lakers making a switch here. Randall's checked in. So Greg Popovich going to take a timeout right here and talk to his team. And a great player like Kobe Bryant, who spent Clark his entire career with one team, he deserves to retire a Laker. Uh, he feels that way, wouldn't you say? Yeah, absolutely, Kevin. I feel exactly the same way. You love to see guys who've had the impact on a team and on the league the way Kobe has as a box office draw and winning. You'd like to see those guys be one-team guys, and I'd be surprised if Kobe's not in that category. In 2016, though, Russell Westbrook and Kevin Durant hit free agency. Uh-oh, might be some <laughs> forward thinking going on here as well, partner. They double-team Kobe. And Splitter pulls it down. Splitter's got 11 rebounds in the game. Well, you know, that's one thing they've been doing extremely well. They're rallying those carrots. Seems like not a whole lot else is going right for them, though. Now here's Leonard. Five points in the game. That's good. He had almost a free run to the hoop that time, Kevin. I mean, that was too easy. Johnson attacking. Tim Duncan with the rebound. 
Duncan's got five rebounds tonight. Spurs trail by six. Double team on Parker. Duncan with it. And it's Johnson picking him up. The drive by Green. Duncan, the pass to Green. And so he draws the foul on the shot. A trip to the line to shoot two. Danny Green, a nice find by the Spurs as a 3 and D role player. And the Spurs always seem to find those kind of guys. A mid-second round pick was Green. He got waived by the Cavs, spent some time playing abroad. Now he holds the record for three-pointers made in the finals. That is good. And the Lakers lead by seven. He had his head on the swivel and was able to Good pick one. out the pass and get the assist. Well, that's yeah, inexcusable to throw a pass that far man. off the mark. A different look now for San Antonio. Baines is checked in, and it's Ginobili in for Leonard. And the Lakers also making a change. Davis is checked in. Now here's Kobe, 13 points in the game. Some rugged defense there against one of the stronger finishers in the game. It's Parker with the drive. Green. They grab their own miss. It seems like nothing is falling for him this quarter. He's really out of his rhythm. Johnson's shot is off. Yeah. Had a pretty good look at the basket, but defensively they did a nice job rotating, forcing the miss. Green kicks to Parker. Duncan with the screen for Parker. Just five on the clock. Good on that shot. And with that, the Los Angeles lead is cut to just five on the basket from Tim Duncan. Lakers have gone a lackluster three of nine from the field since halftime. Clarkson kicks to Hill. Knocks it loose. It's stolen by Green. Parker outside. Duncan with the screen for Parker. And the officials whistle a foul on the shot. The bucket's good. He'll go to the line. Guys, he shot a very good percentage today, and they need it. Horace Diaz checked in for San Antonio. Bellinelli comes in for Green. You know, the Spurs, because of their way of conducting business and their low-key personality, have never really been ratings darlings for the NBA, despite being considered and respected as a model franchise in the league. The team's color of silver and black, I think, fits their style. It's uh, not really flashy or gaudy, but it does point out their business-like approach how precise they play and how much they win. Parker drives in. A three. And Diaw gets it to go. The assist by Parker. You know, even though he doesn't really have the long-range ability uh, on a consistent level, he can knock down some open ones. And here's Young from the arc. Got a piece of it. I can't see the screen. No, the, the, the commands went up on my screen, so I couldn't see. I must have pushed a button or something. Los Angeles calls timeout. You do that before you push the menu button by mistake. All then you look at the screen. I, like like I can't see. It starts from the top down, from Coach Popovich to Tim Duncan. They don't court media attention. They're close to the best. All business, all about winning. And the Spurs look for a certain kind of player, Clark. I know you're interested in this. The players they get are uninterested in the spotlight. Pop calls them guys that have gotten yes, over themselves. That's a great way to phrase it because they're others-focused and not self-focused. And that's something that really lends itself well in a culture which glamorizes the eye and not the group. And you can see it in the Spurs. They are all about business and all of the extra stuff 
is not what appeals to them. They're interested in winning and having fun and enjoying each other, and that's why they're a championship organization and team. That's a good blueprint. Yes, it is. On defense, San Antonio. I don't know what happened there. Ano Ginobili on the wing, defended by Young. And it's rejected. And they get it back. Out to the right wing. Shot clock at six. And it's out of bounds. The Spurs able to retain possession here. Well, that pass had just a little bit too much heat on it for him to make a clean steal. Yeah, I think it would have been a tough catch for either of them. And Parker, here we go. I'll bet he wishes that halftime never arrived the way he was going in that first half. He was on fire, doing an unbelievable job out there. Feeds to Baines. Ginobili outside. Parker, right side. For the lead. Good job, Young. I mean, uh, Jeremy. And we just finished the third quarter, and we've got a tight ball game here. Betty Wills. Starting up. The Lakers in the lead. Diaw and Duncan at the four and the five. Ellen Ellie and Leonard are on the wings. And it's Mills in at the one spot. And that's who's in the game for the Spurs. Here's Mills after Ed Davis's score. Duncan misses. Lakers leading by three. They push it up four on three. Over to the wing. Here's Ellington, again Los Angeles. And here's Mills, fires the three. Diaw dishes to Duncan. Mills passes to Leonard. Kicks to Diaw, into Tim Duncan. Nice ball movement by San Antonio. San Antonio again missing. Here's Ellington. And again, it's the Lakers. I think they need to get much more disruptive defensively. They can't just keep allowing these easy baskets. I agree. They need more energy in the post, maybe some double teaming. They've got to get their defense in gear. I think the game plan needs to change here, guys, if they're going to get out of the hole because he is not helping their offense. You know, they've done some nice work as they come down the stretch and into the final quarter. I'll say they're looking like very determined as they, right. they try to close this one out. Start his rest. San Antonio minutes, calls timeout. Even as the Spurs continue to grow older, it's, a, two or three it's really hard teams to, 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 to write them off. I mean, it's incredible how long this team has been ruling the roost in the West and you are contending for championships. Knock them out. Knock out punch. Davis, Davis are liking uh, the game. Look now for San Antonio. Splitters checked in for Diaw. Green comes Papa in won't get for Marco ball Bellinelli. Ball. What's up with that? And Parker's subbed in for Patty Mills. And now Doris Burke has an update from the sidelines. Kevin, Greg Popovich was just going over the plan with his team. With his team struggling from three-point territory, he told them to start looking for more high-quality shots inside the paint. We're forcing too many threes, he said. Stop with the bombs and work it inside. All right, Doris, thanks. Leonard attacking. Tipped away. Parker with it. Now defended by Randall. That yeah, I knew he was good. Here, trust him. They didn't get a chance to knock one down in the first, but the defense left him a look, and he nailed it. He'll make them pay when he's open. 
Now here's Lynn. Three-pointer Ellington. The kick out to Young. Beyond the arc. The shot by Ellington, no good. You know, normally when you dominate on the glass, it really shows up on the scoreboard, but not so much here today. You're right, Steve. Typically, it is a good barometer that indicates who's winning, but not so. Now here's Randall. Hands on. Left side, Lynn. And there's the pass to Ellington. Six on the shot clock. Now here's the fast break. Parker leading the way. And finished off by Leonard. Textbook example there of how to use defense to create offense. Yeah, beautiful transition play after the steal all the way to the basket. Wasted no time going from defense to offense. Yeah, it feels like they're starting to pick up the intensity as the game itself starts to get a little more tight and close. And that comes off the assist by Duncan. And now just a three point Laker lead. Very clever passing. That was just beautifully done. Timeout called the Lakers. Well, Kawhi Leonard drafted 15th overall Clark back in 2011. The pick acquired from the Indiana Pacers in a trade for George Hill. And you know, at the time, Manu Ginobili said that he really didn't agree with the trade, made him angry. He had a real strong relationship with George Hill and liked his game. I'm sure a lot of Spurs fans felt the same same way, but even as Hill remains a heck of a player, the Spurs fans have to be happy. As a matter of fact, they are ecstatic with um, what Kawhi Leonard has been able to do and what he looks like he's going to do for many years to come. Yeah, that zone, need to guard somebody. You need to guard somebody. The paint. I thought he was, Leonard I thought has been he was a great a fit with the Spurs culture. Quiet, the floor, low so. maintenance, hardworking, not one for all the glitz and the glamour. You know, he owns one watch, the screen, so just shoot. focused on basketball, not the lifestyle that it affords. And so he hits the technical free throw. You talk about Leonard's work ethic, instilled in him from his late father, lost tragically when Kawhi was only 16 years old. But his father used to put him to work at his car wash made him run heels and really embedded in him the value of hard work. His dad's influence and legacy lives on in Kawhi. Johnson left side. They've clearly been the better team the on the glass. It hasn't necessarily translated to the scoreboard yet. But you feel like it's going to, to reward this oh, team no. at some point. They've got to continue to maintain the energy. He's killing them with his poor shooting. The defense is more than willing to give him those shots now. Bad decision. You know, that turnover right there isn't typical of the performance he's turned in today. In fact, that's his only turnover of the game. He's done a really good job taking care of the ball. Now here's Parker from deep green. That doesn't go either for green. Well, they're trying to come back here, but you've got to get a better look at the basket to get it done. Offensive rebound. And Tim Duncan gets the whistle that time. Ryan again. It's green. Davis kicks to Clarkson, tries again, and so he earns a trip to the line. Officials Back saw the contact, the and he'll shoot two. Easy call there. No question about that one. You could hear the impact from where I am. That free throw God. missing. Otto Ginobili's checked in for Green. Good on the second free throw. Spurs trail by five. Parker with it. Dishes it to Ginobili. Back to Parker. From downtown. 
Yeah. And he gets it to go. Parker's got 22. He's got a nice stroke from long range, and you know, he's not likely to pass up those opportunities when he gets them. And yes, sir, that one drops. Yeah, he broke his ankle. And the Lakers lead by four. Here is Parker. After the basket by Los Angeles. Indeed. Duncan. And there's the rejection. Oh, and they get in the way Indeed. of the alley -oop. Not to be. Good play defensively. It's Ginobili with the drive. It's deflected. And pushing it up. Here's Los Angeles. Bryant's running. Good. That couldn't have gone better for him. Forget about playing it safe. They're looking to finish it off in style, and I like that type of aggressiveness. I got to say, Clark, I didn't expect them to oh, play Parker. it that way, but a great steal, and then they get out and run. Awesome. Lakers leading by three. Fifty-nine seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. Here's Clarkson. Five on the clock. He just has not been able to get into that groove yet, guys. But as a whole, it hasn't affected them too much. Parker kicks to Jano. Pulls it up. Good work defensively oh, no. by Kobe. Not now. You know, when the shot's not there for you, you just got to <laughs> recognize now. it and move the ball on. Yeah, I think he had tunnel vision right there. His only thought was to shoot it, no matter what else was going on. Young's checked in for Clarkson. Watt is on the line here. Well, how about the intensity and focus of the crowd here? So loud in this place. And so they foul intentionally. And the Lakers making a change here. Randall's checked in. And now we've got the intentional foul. He hits the first one, and that gives them a four-point cushion. Second free throw, no good that time. He really wanted that one. Leonard kicks to Parker. Let's it go from oh deep. Oh my goodness, a fadeaway yes. back up three. And that shot brings them to within just one. Man, Parker can be an offensive force when he gets going like this. Back They're going to prolong the game here with an intentional foul. Yeah, no question the right call at this point. You can't let them just dribble it out. That's right. I mean, you've got to send them to the line and hope for a few misses. And he ends up making the second, and that will put them up by two. And Antonio calls timeout. They're down by two. There's 14 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Guys, your thoughts? Well, we'll see what they come up with. Plenty of time. If they execute, they should be able to get a good look here. I agree with you, Steve, but I'd like to see them pound it inside and try to get to the rim. There's 14 seconds left to play here in the fourth. Here's Leonard. And so it's the Lakers who come I, well, out I top about here. It, I saw Clark, that it was anybody's game right Jimbo to the very game. end. Yeah, it was. The coach is happy with the outcome. This team kept their emotions in check and got it done. Thank you for joining us for this presentation of the NBA on 2K Sports. For Clark, Stephen Doris, and the rest of the crew, this is Kevin Harlan saying Power thanks for joining us. We'll right see you next time. Last oh, but man. not least, here is your Jordan player of the game, Kobe Bryant. The hell of a game, though, man. Parker, man, Jesus. He was three for three for three point range. Yep, three for three. Yep. Leonard was 0 for seven. Bills one for seven. Green, Danny Green, one for nine. Kobe, 18 points on 11 shots, five assists. They had a bunch of people with double figures. Bryant, Clarkson, Young. Johnson, Ellington.
Wrong, man. Shot 36%. 6 out of 33s. Five out of sixteen. Yeah, sixteen rebounds. You killed me on the board. You have you have forty two. You have forty two rebounds. Forty two rebounds to thirty three. I have four blocks. They, we both turned it over very little. You had six turnovers. I had seven. Biggest lead for me, 10. Biggest lead for you, 11. Let's see, first quarter, 21 to 15, you. Second quarter, 27 to 14, me. Led at the half by seven. Third quarter, you got me 15 to nine. In the fourth quarter, 17, 16, I got two. 